from Hannah Spirit and Andrew Lee Cox, ladies and gentlemen. There's Hannah, there's Andrew, is it Andrew or Andrew Lee? Because it's uh, written Andrew Lee, isn't it? It is, it's hyphenated, it's a bit posh. Well, what was uh, that? Was that the name your parents gave you, Andrew Lee? Posh. Well, my sister's called Sarah Jane, uh -huh. uh, that's hyphenated. It was Sarah from Jane. Bradford and, the, you know, it's the one... It's because of... Potts doesn't sound very good. It just sounds a bit more... But I wonder whether you'd acquired it when you became an actor, whether you thought it sounded a bit grander and therefore you'd get better parts. Yes, that's okay. exactly what I really <laughs> yeah, exactly what happened. I think they knew when I came oh, out. They, were but like, they, they oh. gave it to you. So it is your proper name, Andrew Lee? It is, yes. Okay, okay how lovely to have you here. I'm a big fan of the show. My kids love watching it. Uh, it must be hard to make, I guess, though, because uh, the dinosaurs aren't there, of course, aren't they? No. Okay. Yeah. How's that for you acting with them? How good are you acting uh, with nothing yeah. there? The CGI. Yeah, you're great. It's hard. It, it's, hard. it's got easier, though, yeah. as we've gone along. So, obviously, we're on the second. We've done the second series now. So, at the start, the hardest thing was not to laugh yeah. because you've got a guy with a traffic cone on a stick with yeah. a pair of eyes on it going, you know, rah, I'm... <laughs> so, it's like you're in a student union bar or something, really, then, yeah? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's what we had initially to work with. Okay. And, and we've lost the traffic cone now. It's just a, a ball on a stick. That's but really all they give you? Pretty much. Yeah. You know, yeah. They'd make that. a puppet or something to scare you. I know, yeah, I know. see... Uh, yeah. Rex, he has an animatronic version of him. Now, Rex, we should point out, yeah. that's the pet that your character has. It's yeah. the, the cute dinosaur, the friendly yeah. dinosaur creep. Are they dinosaurs or something else? It's something else. Well, they are dinosaurs. They're just pre-Jurassic. Okay, okay. I sound like a nerd now. You, say, yeah. like you sound like there's some actual yeah. science involved in this show. They're the pre-Jurassic <laughs> ones. Uh, now, I don't know if you saw much of the first series, but one of the things that I enjoyed as a father watching at home was the fact that Hannah here, uh, you played a, what, what do they call it, a reptologist or something? Someone who studies... A zoologist. A zoologist, but you... Oh, a have a reptile. <laughs> you're a special in reptiles yeah. and you keep reptiles in your yeah. flat which gave them the excuse to have you mainly in just knickers and a vest for most of the series. Yeah. Now that was presumably, yeah. that was, uh, there, there, we, there we have a fine example of the species. Look at that. Uh, yeah. And that was clearly, that was a fairly cynical but, but clever yeah. idea they did there to give you the whole kind of hot flat idea. Clever? Oh, maybe. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. We look forward to it in my house. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the guy in the knickers. Yeah. See, we've got a reptile at home. My wife never wanders around like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, but are we seeing as much of that kind of thing in the, in the next series, or are they um, phasing that out? I'm sure on other people's bodies, but not my skin. So what? So the flat's going to be not I as hot? I put my big boots on. Really? No. So what did you say? You said, yeah, yeah. did you actually have a meeting about that? No, we didn't have a meeting. I think it was just kind of everybody knew in the back of their heads that <laughs> there was a slightly too much Abbey flesh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, now, the two of you, uh, you, you knew each other from the past, I believe, but you, you met again working on this, and then you yeah. became a couple, which, is, uh, which yeah, seems like a lovely story to me. Yeah, we knew each other when we were like... We dated for two 16. weeks. Well, this is back, way back when. This is just before I actually went to do Band of Brothers. Yeah. Um, I, we, we you were, it was like when Hannah was in um, S Club, yeah. obviously, and uh, we met for two weeks then, but we were very different people. We dated, it didn't, didn't work didn't like out. Me. Yeah. It's not that I didn't like you. Yeah. Did he not like you? No, he was didn't. Was it because you were in S Club 7 he didn't like you? Didn't he? he just thought I was kind of fame hungry. I know. Fame hungry? No. I don't know whether this is the place this should be coming out. I just wanted to. Uh, I just wanted some shit. He really? Did he ever say but, you're fame um, hungry? How did you think he? Why did you think? I don't know. But the know. main, the point is that he likes me now. Yeah. 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 Well, now you're so, not. Now your hunger for fame yeah. has been sated. Years and down the line. The I've right probably now, got the wrong so. impression. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's uh, just. I guess they were young pop bands. Well, you were, I bet you were a big S Club fan, weren't you? It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to like the one, what was it? Don't stop doing bing ba bing ba booing. Of course I don't know the fucking words, I'm a fucking slam. Do you miss being in the band? Was there anything about being in S Club that you look back on fondly? I mean, I know you made some friends there, I guess, but, but do you miss yeah. the actual experience of being in S Club 7? Um, oh, God, it was, it was absolutely great at the beginning, you know, we were just kind of doing everything. We were so busy and... Yeah. You know, it was a great opportunity. Well, because they worked I, you guys hard, because you, you were together for, what, three or four years? You did TV series and the music and a film. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the film was, like, the, one of the latest things that we did as a band. Um, that was the tipping point. I think that's when everybody was getting a little bit tired. But, yeah, the first four years was, was a great experience. Yeah. And then we were just kind of knackered. Everyone, uh, as soon as you say, well, the trend is to, to get bands back together from that period. Uh, yeah. The Spice Girls, of course, are touring at the moment. Take that. Uh, very expensive. Yeah. Would, you, would you get back together if the call came? 
Um, I think take that. Um, I think it's brilliant for them to get back together. I think you know, you know, Gary Barlow's a fantastic writer, and um, they've got a great rapport in interviews and stuff. I don't think it's quite the same for us club. No. But also, we're in different places. So I think personally, for me. No. That's a, that's a long way of saying just no. I <laughs> let, let me ask you more about Primeval because I'm looking forward to it. starting this weekend on ITV. Uh, what happens in it? Because I couldn't quite work out what was going on last time. It, it did begin to confuse me a little bit, I'll be honest with you. So there were holes and people coming in and out and people going back in time, or was it forward in time and dinosaurs would appear yeah. then? Water things, and it was quite. I, I didn't quite know what, what was happening. And the bloke, the Scottish bloke, had lost his girlfriend, and yeah. he just yeah. he was she, really sad all the time. Yeah, he yeah. was really miserable. Yeah. And there's the other bloke got his shirt undone too much. So Which, what, okay. what what happens in the next series? <laughs> what what developments can we look forward to? Basically, the, you know, the premise, of the, the main premise of the show is there's anomalies in time yeah. that rip through. Fault? Are you laughing at me? No, no. <laughs> I'm enjoying the scientific <laughs> explanation. <laughs> Are you allowed to go back in time and come back to the present day? Yeah, we can yeah. travel through these anomalies, but we haven't quite worked out how long they stay open or why they're opening. Yeah. But um, towards the end of the last series, uh, there was a thing called the Future Predator that came through, so then we realised that... And let me guess, he comes press. from... The future. Okay. Now, uh, how is it uh, living and working? Because I imagine getting up, I mean, you, you must be spending just about all your time. Yeah, all our time, but it's, yeah. it's great. It's, it's, it, it's fun. Well... <laughs> I think it's great. How, how long have you been together so far? We've so been, far... How long has it been? Like? I don't know. We've, we've had an anniversary. We haven't had a year anniversary. So it's shortly oh, it's a year, over a year. One and a half years. Oh. Well, when are you going to get married? Yeah, Andrew, when are you going to get married? <laughs> What are you waiting for? What am I waiting for? Um, can you imagine if I just... I'm not going to... No, no. Uh, <laughs> first of all, what were you going to do? I don't know what you were going to do. Can you imagine? Yeah, I'm close. Uh, what, what, are you, what, are you, what are you waiting we're for? We're going... Yeah. I don't want to put that... I don't oh, want to... Would you, if it was supposed to, would you say yes? Oh, you can't ask that. I just did. I, I should not. I won't. No, but can now listen, what are you waiting for? Stop fanning around. I hate you women. Fanny around. Fanny around. Fanny around. Fanny around. Fanny around. You're with her for a year. Do something about it or piss off. And do something else for chance, all right? That's it. That's what I'm going with. I hope you're a lovely young couple. I really hope it works out for you. And certainly, if you have children, they're going to be gorgeous. Thank you. So, congratulations on finding each other. Good luck with the new series. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Hannah Spirit and Andrew Lee Potts. Thank you. 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 Thank you.